How's it going, guys? My name is TJP. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 24 franchise rebuilding video here. Now, uh, we have our next NL team, and I'm looking at the standings. The Nationals, the Cardinals, the Rockies. 75-win team. The New York Mets are our next NL team that we're going to be trying to rebuild. Five seasons, injuries on, not meant to be realistic. If we mispronounce some names, we mispronounce some names. We're doing all 30 teams based on standings. And I think my voice is starting to come back too, which is cool. Uh, but anyways, leave a like, subscribe, and join the content. Comment down below some more videos over socials. Play a section on the main channel down below in the description. If you look at the content for me, TJP. With that being said, uh, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so let's take a look here. Now, I will say this, San Diego Studios has still yet to update the rosters as of this recording. So, I'm having to use the live roster where the injuries aren't 100%. Um, so, I started doing that now, considering you know, I want some of the real players where they're supposed to be. Like, I don't want Blake Sound free to see, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. So, you know. Right. We want guys that aren't actually signed to be in free agency. Let's see the lineups, though, that we have currently. We got Marte, McNeil, Brandon Nimmo, Pete Alonzo, Lindor, Alvarez, Ryan Mauricio, Tarn Taylor, Brett Beatty. <coughs> they got DJ Stewart. They got Harrison Bader, Navarez, Vientos, Wendell, Acuna. This is um, Ronald Acuna Jr.'s brother, I believe. And then, uh, yeah. Let's see our rotation. Kodai Senga. We got Jose Quintana. Sean Mnao. Luis Severino. And then Jose Buto. We got Hauser in the bullpen. Brooks Raley's there. Chessy. Tyler McGill. Josh Walker. Lopez. We got Phil Bickford. And I'm going to of course, Edmund Diaz. There's some talent. There's some talent. The question is how much talent? Well, decent amount. But I do think... So here's the thing. Obviously, Brett, we'll see how well he could do. He's obviously young. He's got good potential. Um, in terms of right fielding, though, like Marte, he's got a big contract. I'm going to start just getting a better right fielder for him. <coughs> I'm going to look around in the market and see what's out there. Try to upgrade on that front. Because um, we got some big contracts. We can definitely look to move. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to look now. For, for some moves. Just a couple moves. Maybe probably just really the right field situation. We'll see how well Brett does, how he progresses. And if I want to get a better third baseman, I can always look to do that you know, later on. So, but let's just see what I can move here to get a better right fielder. I'm a big Riley Green guy. And then since he's a right fielder now, I'm going to get him from Marte Stewart and Josh Walker. So we'll team Mr. Riley Green. Um, I think that's it for moves. We'll just see how this team does. I don't expect it to be good, but you know what? The game sometimes does the funny. And what I mean by that is it does the funny. Let's do the funny. So I'm actually curious to see leagues here, what we've got. So anybody here in AAA right now? David Peterson is there. Adams, okay. Obviously, again, some of the injuries that we don't have. Because this roster doesn't have injuries, they just have them in the uh, minors. Because San Diego Studios has yet to update to the opening day roster. So hopefully by Thursday they'll do. Again, it's Sunday when I'm recording this, but when you guys see this video, at least when it's uploaded, will be Monday. So the next day, the 25th. So a few days away. But yeah, let's just see how well we do. I'll see you guys at the All Star break. We'll see how well this team does and go on from there. All right, we're 31 and 66. We're absolutely terrible, but. I think that was kind of to be expected. Now, we do have some injuries. Um, well, not really, actually. Let's take a look at the lineups here. McNeil's having a good season. Riley Green, ah, oh, to be doing better. Lindor's been really good this year. Alonzo, decent. Nimbo's been decent. I've seen him do a lot better, though. Alvarez struggling this year. Ronnie Mauricio, uh. Brad Beatty, uh. Tyrone Taylor, uh. Said, not too great on the offense. Acuna's been solid. <coughs> Pitching rotation. Uh, Senga's been terrible. Chaminade has been terrible. David Peterson's been terrible. Tom has been terrible. Severino has been good. Everybody's been crummy. Uh, the bullpen, Hauser has been really good. That's promising. Ovino has been solid. Lopez, Adams, and Diaz has been poop. 
So there's that. Obviously, there are a lot of things that we need to do. And Pidgey is one of them. Now, we have a lot of guys that might be on expiring deals. And I don't know if I want to resign them. So, again, I might just try to tank. Maybe if I get some upgrades, that'd be nice. Uh, but, yeah, like, I don't want to resign. Like, <coughs> I might let, well, I don't know. Maybe we let Kitana go. Maybe we let Severino go. Not having a good season. Yeah, there's definitely some guys we can move. We don't have a lot of budget. To play around with. So, curious if there's anybody that we can get. Uh, Jake Deacon was not even in the majors, and in the four, seven games he played, he was awful. So, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can make a couple moves. Just a couple. I'm gonna just do it with the Royals. We're gonna get Will Smith for Fujinami, Deacon, and Solcer. Uh, this is a little bit of a budget cut, but we also get a better relief pitcher here uh, in with him so I, I mean I'm happy with that I feel like we got better with Will Smith and I can also re-sign him on the cheap in the offseason um, again a lot of these guys are expiring I'm curious if I can maybe move like Severino um, Hauser's been really good I don't want to move him but um, Chessy I mean I can see what we can get for Jose Quintana and Severino, if there's maybe something we could do there. We'll look and see. What do we do with the Mariners? We're going to get Logan Gilbert for Severino and Quintana. Gilbert is on a on arbitration for the next few seasons. and He's not been in the down year, but I do think he's going to be better than Severino and Quintana. So, welcome to the team, Logan Gilbert. All right, so we were terrible. Absolutely terrible. 54 and 108. Uh, clearly, we didn't make the playoffs. But, I mean, I was kind of expecting that to be a down year this year. We're going to go all out, though, I think, this, year, uh, this upcoming season. Try to get a lot better. Um, you know, because we're the Mets. Lindor had a good year. Credit to him. Riley Green. I liked him to have been better. McNeil was solid. Alonzo. Nimmo. Alvarez and great. Ronnie Mauricio. Brett Beatty. Tyron Taylor. Get for want to get a better center fielder. Bader didn't do great. Uh, Acuna was solid. He was really good. Rotation, Senga ended the season on fire. Not great. I mean, obviously the records aren't going to be good because we were a horrible team. Agent Howard was really good. Shot to him. Tommy Gill was solid. Um, Austin Adams, Brooks Raley. Go to the middle. Diaz obviously lost his closing spot to Will Smith. We ended up having 27 saves. Lopez, decent in 26 games. So, yeah, obviously we were terrible, but that's okay. We have... Another four seasons to go. Yankees win the World Series against the Cubs. So the boys across a little subway ride in the Bronx. Get the World Series. All right, it's on in the offseason. All right, so I did my arbitrations, tenderings. I offered a few guys some exclusive free agent negotiations. We'll see if they get them. Obviously, some big moves that I want to make. I mean, we got to get better at pitching. There's a lot of positions we need to get better at. Um, so we'll worry about that. We're gonna definitely worry about that in free agency. I might throw Bregman a deal. Um, I, I, Beatty, it's nice. I wouldn't mind keeping him. Maybe he could be like a DH, or you know, Bregman could be a DH and somebody could play third. Um, so I'm gonna throw him a contract. See if he wants to come to the Mets. I'm gonna do a different deal there, trying to get him a little bit higher. Uh, I'm gonna try to throw some pitchers, some contracts, like Corbin Burns, and throw him a deal. Try to get him on our squad to be a new ace for us. Um, so if we can get him on like this kind of contract, it'd be nice. I might throw Max Reed a contract as well. Like I said, I'm trying to get uh, more talented pitching on the squad. we got to bolster up the rotation, bolster up the bullpen, uh, because it was brutal last season. So, yeah, I'll see who we can get on the team, try to make some signings, and uh, we'll go on from there. I'm going to just deal with the Rays. We're going to get Jose Siri, and Evan Edwards, Shamanea, Thomas Snido, and uh, Ronnie Mauricio. So we're going to get a better center fielder with Jose Siri. And then we have Drew Gilbert, Taylor. But, yeah, I think, you know, maybe get to give Drew Gilbert another couple seasons before he's ready. So we're going to do that deal there. And, um, yeah, we're going to get Jose Siri, and uh, we shed a lot of budget. Our first signing here we got with Alex Bregman. 
Coming to our squad, adding another bat to our lineup, good third baseman, of course. All right, I got Corbin Burns here. Had to uh, redo his contract, offer him more because he was getting some competitive offers. So I did, you know, give him an eight-year, $128 million deal. But I think it'll be worth it. It bolsters up the bullpen uh, rotation immensely. So welcome team Corbin Burns. You guys know, I was able to re-sign Alonzo and all these guys, Alvarez. I did get Paul Sewald as well to bolster up the bullpen too, which is nice to see. Uh, I think we, yeah, definitely improved the team a lot. Um, we still have 50 million, over 50 million in budget. So I could go after Juan Soto. Would that be a thing that we could do? Walker Bueller is also here. We get another Walker Bueller, Anthony Santander. <coughs> go Kepler, Unit, Junis. Uh, I just got have a good season too. I think we'll just keep team as is. Uh, we're going to head on to the start of the second season. I'll see you guys from there. So to start the second season, uh, we improved. I'd say we improved. Obviously, we got Lindor, McNeil. We got Bregman still on the team. Uh, we've got Alonzo, Brandon Nimmo, Alvarez, Green, Jose Syrian, uh, Taylor's here. Um, and we got Parada, Jackson, Cunha, and then Vientos, which is cool. Um, we have Brett in Triple A right now, which I guess is fine. Um, I feel like I want another bat that's better than Tyron Taylor, but I guess it'll do for now. Pitching rotation, Burns, Freed, Senga, Gilbert, and Peterson is really good. We got Hauser out there with Rayleigh, Smith, Bickford, Wilson, Suald, Lopez, and Diaz. I feel like it's not bad. I feel like it's not bad. Let's see how good this team does in the second season. I feel we're going to be much improved. So... I'm excited. Let's see how we do. All right, so we're 47 and 49 at the All-Star break. We're better. Still not great, but we're better. Gilbert missed some time earlier in the season, but we are, he's fine now. Lindor, another good season from him so far. McNeil, Bregman, a little bit iffy this year. Alonzo, Nimmo, uh, Alvarez has been struggling this year. Grally Green, not great. Jose Siri, not great. And we called up Brett, and he has not been doing good. Uh, Taylor's been really good. I, and I said, I need another bat besides you, and you're doing really well. So, it looks like the idiot. I guess me, right? Pitch your rotation. See what we got going on over there. Burns, like a little bit more out of him. Uh, Free has been excellent. Senga's been solid. Gilbert, good record. A little high on the ERA. The whip solid. Peterson, not great. Hauser's not great this year. Uh, the middle of the bullpen, most parts okay. Brooks really could be doing a little bit better. Uh, back end, Swall, swall has been solid. Lopez has been really good. He only put 5.1 innings, though. And Diaz having a better season than last year. 22 saves so far on the year. Any all-stars here? I don't see any. Okay. <coughs> I'm trying to think if there's any other moves that we could make here. Um, I guess if Brett shr continues to struggle, I, we might be, we might have to look to see what we could do with that. Uh, Lindor just got a big contract, but if he's going to play like this, I want to keep him. So, listen, you play well and you stay. Brandon Nimmo, you don't start to play well, then you will go because you have a massive contract and I could look to get somebody better than you. And Siri, obviously, I just uh, traded for him and he hasn't been very good. Gilbert is in AAA still, 258. Okay. Yeah, I think for now, for right now, how's Hauser doing? I feel like we can move Hauser, try to get something for him. Maybe a couple guys here, try to get some more bullpen depth. Uh, maybe that's something we want to do. Uh, is Will Smith even in the, he's in the MLB. Obviously, he's doing really well. Nice Wilson. Yeah, let, let's see if we can maybe try to get another arm for the bullpen. That would be the only thing I want to do. Oh, that's, that's what I said the only thing I wanted to do was that. But I'm also going to try to see if I can get myself another bat. So if we get Will Benson, what if you throw in... Obviously, not going to throw in Ellie Cruz, but... Can I get an arm here? That's, like, decent. You want to take Ian, maybe? Cruz, we get Fujinami back on my team. Um, 
Oh, Ian, I guess. Benson and Ian for Hauser, Chessie and Tonkin. The ideal there, get another bat. <coughs> okay, not bad. Standings, we are one and a half out of a wild card, so if we have a good second half of the year. Post All-Star break, we might be able to make the playoffs. Not upset that at this. 80 and 74 made the wild card and taking the Phillies. It's a nice matchup there. We're gonna stop simulating here. Phillies three game series. And uh, let's take some injuries. We got Freed, Hurt, Benson. We traded for you, buddy, and you get hurt. It's unfortunate. Um, so he's gone for the season, most likely, rest of the year. Overall, the lineups. We're gonna see them on fire. Looks good. Overall, the lineup looks solid. Alvarez better second half of the year. You know, the back end of the lineup isn't too great. Drew Gilbert got called up, had a little bit of a PT. Taylor was good. Acuna was good. Other than that, nothing too crazy. And uh, Brett got sent back down because he was poo poo pee pee. All right, see the MLB here. Burns, a little bit more. Kodai Senga was much better this year. Gilbert, not a bad record. Freed was excellent. David Peterson, not great. We got McGill up here. We got Adams, who was really good. In the nine innings, he pitched Phil Bickford was really good. Brooks Raley was solid. Will Smith, good. Paul Swell, good. Lopez, good. Diaz was solid, too. 42 saves. Better than last year. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see how we do here. So the Phillies... They won 89 games. Braves are 105 win team. The Dodgers 103 win. Blue Jays 103. Twins at 100. All right. Game one: Phillies Burns versus Aaron Nola. You lose that one four to three. Shout out to the boys. Edwin Diaz. I was praising you, and then you uh, blew the save. Well, actually, well Lopez and. But why did Lopez get a blown save? I guess, I don't know. Uh, Diaz sucked. That's all I'm going to say. So we got to win game two here. If we want to keep our postseason alive. Senga versus Suarez. And we lose 4 nothing. Get shut out. <coughs> two hit. Two hits. Not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. Can't get two hits. Lindor didn't have a single hit in postseason. Cunha. A lot of guys struggled. McNeil did not. McNeil was not one of them. He needed bats. Hansa was decent. Green was really good, but a lot of donuts. A lot of donuts. Rotation, I mean, not awful. But the bullpen had its scrubs. Will Smith just didn't do well, and Diaz didn't do his job either. But that's all right. We made the playoffs postseason. We got three more years. So you can build upon this season. Mariners beat the Dodgers in the World Series. It's on the third season. All right, so we did my arbitrations, tender the contracts, free agent exclusives. Only Brooks Raley, though. Now, in terms of uh, what we want to do here, there's a couple options. There are a couple options. I could try to go out and get myself another massive bot in this lineup. And that would be Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That is the guy I'm eyeing. I am eyeing Mr. Vladdy Daddy. But he wants a lot of money. So, I, that's, it's going to be tough to get him. I'm going to try. Um, but other than that, I mean, we might try to offer another, try to get another pitcher maybe. You never have too many arms. Uh, but I also might look to move, uh, maybe make a trade. So, let, let's see. We got another bat. I'm going to throw Vladimir Guerrero Jr. contract. We'll see if we can pick him up, and uh, we'll uh, go from there. Right, I'm going to just do it with the Dodgers. We're going to get we're gonna get Tony Gonzalez for Jimmy Agabonis, Amos Willingham, and Brett Beatty. So Tony Gonzalez coming off a good year. 
And he's on arbitration. So why not try to get him just be another starting pitcher for us? I know I'm giving up Brett, but he just hasn't really... I mean, he was okay last year. Didn't play much, and then when he did play, he was terrible. So I know I might be giving up early on him, but I'm going to do it. I know people are probably complain, but hey, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I get another arm, and I'm happy with that. And, um, yeah, we'll see if we can get Vladdy and then re-sign Brooks Raley. I'm going to fleece the Dodgers because I need to. Okay, so we're fleecing the Dodgers. We're getting Brad Beatty back. Omar Navarro, Zach Short, and Brandon McGowan, Wayne. Reason being, I ran out of I ran out of space, so we're fleecing the Dodgers. Fleecing the Dodgers. It was all part of our plan. <laughs> it was all part of our plan. It was like a because you only do three players. It was actually a big trade. It was all those guys, and we keep Brad Beatty for Tony Gonzalez. Pretend. And then we can try to get Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hopefully get him. And we got him. And again, the reason I need to do that because I ran out of um, roster spots. I'm going to see if I can try to maybe add one more piece, like another bullpen arm. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but yeah, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., big bad in the lineup. Love it. All right, third season's here. We're advancing to regular season. And our lineup looks pretty good. We got ourselves. Okay, so P. Alonso is going to be the DH against righties and lefties. Okay, so he's always the DH. Lindor, Benson, Guerrero Jr., obviously. We got Pete Alonso. We got Bregman, Brandon, Alvarez. We got Riley Green and Jeff McNeil. Parada with Siri Taylor, Vientos as well is up there. I'm loving that. Lineups. Um, we just saw that. Pitcher rotation. Burns, Senga, Gilbert, Freed, Peterson. And, uh, yeah, Tony Gonzalez not even in. You know, I'll be. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather him be in the MLB. But, you know, the game's the game. Let me actually do that. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, I, gotta wait. I gotta release somebody. I don't know who. Who do I want to release? Or drop down? I don't know. Hmm. You know what? We'll let the game deal with that. But I want Tony Gonzalez on my team. I want him. I want him in there. But I like the squad. Let's see what happens. I feel like we're going to be pretty good this year. So we're 58 and 39, top of the division by five games over the Atlanta Braves. And we look at the standings. We're 58 wins. We're a pretty good team. One of the better teams in the MLB. Not better than the Dodgers. But, or the Marlins, I believe, for that matter. We've got, what else? Some of the Mariners. The Mariners, not the Marlins. All right. Lineups. How we doing? Lindor, solid year. Nothing too crazy. Jeff Mule's been amazing. Let me get her close late, but he's been having a good year. Alonzo's been good. Bregman, oof. Not good. Benson, decent. Could be better. Alvarez, decent. Renan was on fire as of late. And it's Riley Green. This is what I wanted. 323 average. Beautiful bench. Jose Sears has been good. Taylor's been really good. Ginto's been solid. All right, not, I mean, not, not, not bad. Prada's been pretty bad, though. Burns, solid. Gilbert, Freed, Senga, Peterson. I mean, the rotation's there. It's okay. <coughs> uh, we got uh, Jose doing his thing. Jose, 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 Jose. And by doing his thing, I mean, he suck. Paul Swole's been terrible. Bickford, Ian... Portrayal's been solid. Lopez, really good. Adams, really good. Diaz, yeah, not bad. Unfortunately, uh, Tony Gonzalez had to be sent down to the minors. Good time to go. The boot. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy. But they'll be called up, one of them in the playoffs. I gotta have them, you know what I mean? You never know when you need another arm. I guess in terms of trades, um, let's just trade everybody for like you, you, and you. How you doing? Not bad. Not bad. 319. Not bad. Judge. Judge. Jake Berger. Jake Berger. All right, we're not trading any of them. I just like seeing who is out there in the market just to... See the value of players in the game, because I always find that interesting. I mean, yeah, I, the team's doing well. There's really no need to 
make any moves. Let's just keep trying to win and even for 95 wins. I think we can get to that point. Well, spot on, man. 96 wins. One game better than my prediction. Take it on the win of the wild card Pelicans. We won the divisions. So we're automatically in the <coughs> NLDS. So Dodgers are there with us. Got some league leaders. Vladimir Guerrero home runs, 43. Impressive. Injuries. Nobody important hurt. Just some Syracuse Met crap. We got uh, Lindor doing a good. Good year from him. McNeil was great. Vladimir Jr. great. Led league in home runs. Overall, not bad. The lineup definitely strong, uh, strong suit. Cunha obviously didn't play too much in MLB this year. What are you gonna do? But I mean, he's been solid when he does play. So fair, fair play to you, my man. See the pitching rotation. Gilbert solid. Burns good. Freed great. Peterson yeah. Tony Gonzalez. <coughs> Tony Gonzalez. Pretty solid. 10 games pitched. Did his, did his job. Yeah, I will need him in the postseason, that's for sure. Overall bullpen. Most part good. Some guys that were... Would have been better. Mostly in the middle, but you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe the playoffs will be better. It'll be better, you know. So we're down the Cubbies. So yeah, we were 96 win team. Phillies 95, Braves 93. Uh, Dodgers 101 wins, Cubs 84 win team. Aaron is 108. All right. Cubs, what do you got? Jordan Wicks versus Logan Gilbert. Game one, we lose that one five to one. What are we doing, Gilbert? <coughs> what are we? Do? What are we doing here? Game two, Burns or steal? No offense this game. Couldn't score a run. Are we really going to get swept? Freed versus Keller? We don't. All right, win 7-3. Game 4, need to win this one. Gilbert, need to step up here, man. And you don't. Let me down. But also the offense let me down. Seven hits. Ah, you have three runs early. Five innings. Eh, it could have been better. Bullpen was pretty, looks like a pretty solid. Shout out to the boys. ALD, NLDS. I mean, it's an improvement, but... Not there. Lineup. Thought we were pretty good in the, in the regular season. Postseason. <sighs> Some guys were very underwhelming, to say the least. Yeah, I'm going to blame some of that on my lineup. Gilbert, I would have liked you done a little bit better. Burns was okay. Freed was solid. And the bullpen, honestly, wasn't that bad. So, yeah, I'm going to say the offense, man, let me down a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <coughs> Except for this game. But, all right, cool. Let's see how we do here. Mariners beat the Cubs. We've got two more seasons to go. Let's see how well we do. Maybe we improved. and got to have some better postseason luck. All right, so free agency, I offered a lot of my guys arbitrations and some exclusive deals. I don't have much money, I feel like, to play around with. I've got a lot of pending offers, so I guess we'll just wait to see who accepts their offers, and then maybe if there's anybody else out there that we want to try to get free agency, we can do that. Uh, in terms of trades, I think uh, I think we're fine. Um, I don't know if there's really anybody that I'd want to move off of. Yeah, no, I think we're good. I think uh, I think I'm happy with the team. I mean, Brandon Nemo stepped it up, so I don't think I need to move him. But yeah, I think let's just yeah let's see what happens in free agency. See if we can get these guys back and how much money we have. I mean, if it anything, we can always look to get another arm or another uh, guy to come off the bench, be a platoon player. But other than that, I mean, team's the team. All right. Well, actually, I did end up getting Nico Herner. Reason being, I just figured, let's get a better second base. I, mean, I like McNeil. McNeil, though, is getting up there in age, and we're going to get ourselves a uh, pretty solid second base with Nico Herner. So, welcome to Team Nico. All right, so the fourth season's here, and, um, hey, I'm pretty happy with the squad. Let's take a look at the lineup and see what we got. So, yeah, Nico Herner's going to be our starting second baseman, um, which is pretty nice. 
Uh, we got Riley Green, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonso, Bregman, Alvarez, Nimo, Lindor, and then Siri. Kevin Parada, Jeff McNeil off the bench, Tyron Taylor, Jeremiah Jackson, Brett Beatty. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pitching rotation, Gilbert, Burns, Freed, Peterson, and Senga with Tony Gonzalez out of the bullpen. He's a long-range pitcher. The middle, solid. In the back, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, again, we've had some good seasons. It's just that we haven't been able to put 100% of it together in terms of postseason action. So let's see what happens this year. Maybe we can make the postseason again and go to the World Series and win it. I mean, we got two more seasons to do it. So maybe this is the year. Who knows? All right, so we're seriously underperforming. Only 500. Kind of embarrassing in a way. But we're only two games back. But we have some injuries. That's mostly why. Gilbert hurt. Uh, still, which kind of stinks. He, he got hurt early in the season. Gilbert uh, barely played in the majors. So let's see. Nico's been good. Riley Green's been solid. Greer Jr.'s been good. Pilon's been great. Alvarez decent, but could be better. Bregman could be better. Nemo's been amazing. Lindor okay. Jose Sears been terrible. The bench uh, not too bad, I guess. I mean, Brad hasn't played much. McNeil's been kind of bad this year um i do want to get a better center fielder because i don't know about oz siri taylor mcneil maybe we try to move them uh pitching rotation burns have been good peterson not great freed's been great senga's been awful yeah i mean the pitching has been definitely a lot let me tell you are and absolutely terrible this year uh and the back end of the bullpen not much out of them I and mean, moss adams been pretty good but Pitching's been a little bit iffy, but I do want to get a better center fielder. So let's see what's out there in the market. If we can maybe make a move to try to get somebody better than what I currently have. Do this deal with the Pirates. We're going to give up Jose Siri, Jeff McDill, and Tyron Taylor. We're going to get Cody Bellinger and Josh Fleming from the Pirates. Um, I like that deal. I like that deal. Cody Bellinger's really been really good this season. Plus we get another arm to hopefully bolster up the bullpen a little bit. It's not going to be crazy, but it's a move, so I'm happy with it. Uh, hopefully we can have a better second half of the season because this season has not been going up to speed so far. 1874 made it as a wild card team. Um, taking on the Cardinals in the first round. So, I mean, I would have liked this to have been a little bit better, but you know what? We ended up doing all right. League leaders, Corbin Birds, complete games, five. Nico Hunter, stolen bases, 46. So, it's cool to see. Um, see the, uh... See the awards here. Injury list, rather. Gilbert's obviously still hurt. He's gone for the season, obviously. But, I mean, he wasn't really playing in the MLB anyway. Uh, we called up Will Benson. Uh, overall lineup, I mean, Pete Alonso was really good. Bregman ended up being solid. Lindor had a good year. Cody Bellinger was good. So, I mean, there were some ups and downs, but for the most part, not too bad. Kevin Parada was pretty good off the bench. When he played, Riley Green was really good. We called up Acuna. Brett Beatty didn't play much, but when he did play, he was productive. So, good for you, my man. See the uh, pitch rotation. Gilbert ended up doing all right. Burns was good. Peterson ended the scene on fire. Freed was had a great year. Senga was terrible. Gonzalez, eh. Middle of the bullpen. Fleming was okay. Riley was pretty good. Yeah, the back end was a little bit iffy. You know, so... I'm hoping that we do okay against the Cardinals here. You know, they got Drew Rasmussen on the bump. We got Logan Gilbert. I need Logan Gilbert to step it up here. Game one, you lose three to two, man. Josh Fleming, we trade for you, and you uh, blow the game. Nice. I love that. I love that. Well, we were down 2-0, and then it was 2-2, but brutal. All right, well, we got to win game two here. Otherwise, we are out. Burns versus Luzardo. Uh, we do win that one 6-5. to five. And can we win game three? Do or die, Peterson versus Flaherty. Shout out to the Sim Engine. We do not. I love it. Our offense decided to not work today as we only have three hits. And as you can see the lineup, most of it was pretty bad. I mean, Bellinger was pretty good. Lindor was great. Erner, great. But, oof, a lot of bums. A lot of bums. Peterson didn't even pitch that bad. It's just not a single... Nobody wants to hit. Oh, I mean, we can't win like that. 
The bullpen overall was, other than Rayleigh, was okay. Not too bad, you know what I mean? You know, I mean, obviously got the loss, but the lineups killed me. Uh, we just didn't want to hit the ball. Riley Green didn't hit the ball, so. Yeah, we got one more season, but it's uh, we're definitely underperforming, that's for sure. Cardinals beat the Mariners in the World Series. Shout out to them, I guess. Let's head on to the fifth and final season. Maybe we can actually hit the ball pitch well and everything will come to fruition. It's all about, all contingent upon the game. So yeah, we do. All right, so I don't have a lot of money. A lot of our guys are going to try to re-sign. So we'll see if we can get them back. Um, I mean, if we have any leftover money, uh, Duran wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. The run wouldn't be too bad. We could throw him a deal if we wanted it to bolster out the bullpen, but that would be really about it, I think. I mean, maybe there's other guys out there. It just depends. We'll see. Um, but for the most part, I mean, the team is practically set. I mean, we have a lot of guys locked up, so we just really just have to put it together. What it comes down to. Right, I'm gonna do this deal with the uh, Ashers. We're gonna get Paul. We're gonna give a Paul Sewald, Erseg, and Franco, <laughs> and we're gonna get Kyle Tucker. Adding another bat to the lineup because why not? We can and we shall. Um, yeah, I mean, if we can, maybe. Do I want to add another arm to the bullpen? No, I think we're good. I think we just uh, rock out with the squad. I'll see you guys start the fifth the final season. So fit the final season, our team is looking like this. We've got Nico Herner, Lindor, Guerrero Jr., Alonzo, Tucker, Bregman, Alvarez, Nimmo, and Cody Bellinger. Parada, Green, Williams, Beatty, Vientos off the bench. And the lineup should look good on paper. We got to hit better than we did last season. And then, of course, the rotation in the bullpen. Gilbert, Burns, Peterson, Freed, and Senga with Gonzalez. Out of the long relief pitcher spot, Bickford, Fleming, Rayleigh. And then we got Lopez, Adams, and Ed win yes so that's our squad is it good enough to win it should be we should be able to compete give all these guys and try to get gunner try to get shane beaver try to get tatis try to get otani try to get anybody who else who's the best player right now when you junior we can get in Can't get Evan Garter. Can't get Jose Rodriguez. Yeah, they all have injury situations. All right, we'll fit the final season. How are we going to do? Hopefully better than last season. I I'm hoping we can win like 100 games. Because last year we kind of underperformed the first half of the season. Hopefully it doesn't happen this time. We are 30 games above, 63-33. and uh, Standings has us as the best team in the MLB. That's cool. Injury list. Uh, Nimmo. Torn pectoral. He's been out for a while. Hopefully we get him back. Shortly. Lineups look like this. I mean, nothing to write home about. But actually, overall, it's been pretty good. Overall, it's been pretty good. The bench. Uh, Jet Williams. What is up, my friend? How you doing? Uh, Beatty hasn't played much. All right. How's the rotation? Gilbert's just not been great. Peterson's been really good. Burns, Freed. I don't know, man. Do I want to get another starting pitcher? I, part of me thinks yes. God, Austin has been awful. Yeah, I got to get another pitcher. I, I don't trust my rotation right now. So let's see if I can get another pitcher. That would kind of be like the... Final thing to do. Let's get another pitcher. So, let's see what's out there in the market. <clears throat> I'm going to just deal with the Rays. We're going to get Taj Bradley for Adam, Shell, and Gilbert. Uh, we get ourselves a good pitcher here in Bradley. I mean, is there another? Let me do. Let me get anybody else here? Nah. Yeah, we'll just get Bradley. That's fine. Works for me from the Rays. Bolster up the rotation. Um, that is it. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully that helps. I mean, we're pretty good, but again, I just want to make sure that we're 
Gonna be dynamite in the postseason. Under two wins, 60 losses. Won the division, taking a win in the wild card playground. So automatically AL, uh, NLDS. Uh, we weren't the best team though. Dodgers were 104 wins. Mariners had 100 wins. Okay. B leaders. Herner, stolen bases. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. runs. Not too bad, not too bad. Injury list. We got some guys hurt, but nobody important. Lineups. Okay. Overall, not too bad. Decent. Hopefully, in the playoffs, it carries over. Postseason. Kyle Tucker's coming off the bench. What? It's crazy. Well, in against, I guess, righties. But that's fine. How's your rotation? It looks like we did pretty good. The bullpen is a little scary, but not that bad. Good season from Diaz. He had 44 saves. So, we could be taking on either St. Louis or San Diego, and it will be St. Louis. We've got Logan Gilbert versus Jesus Lazardo. I'd like to just win game one. And we don't. Shout out to this Sim Engine. Wow, Edwin Diaz, man. What are you doing, my friend? <sighs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. Game two, Bradley versus Libertor. We win three to two. Okay, needed that win. Played Tidwell with the W. Game three, Peterson versus Lodolo. We win that one seven to one. Let's win game four and advance the NLCS, please. Burns versus Rasmussen, and we do. Let's go. That's what I needed. Dodgers. The Dodgers, who play in Los Angeles. Game one, got Gilbert versus Otani. We win that one six to three. Let's go. Game two, Burns versus Yoshinobu Yamamoto. We lose three to four. It's unfortunate. Of course, we lost in the final inning after having lead. All right, game three, Peter Sisters, Bobby Miller. Win that one five to four. Let's go. Game four would be nice to win here. Taj, we traded for you for this moment. And we lose three to four. Kota Senga. Sengalicious. Getting the L. We didn't do bad. We gotta hit better. Game five. Not need to win this one here. Gilbert versus Otani. We lose. Shout out to the San Diego Studios Sim Engine. So, as I like to say, you know, I like to mess around with it. We got to win game six. Got to win this one. Got to win game seven, too, if we win this one. So, on the brink of elimination, we need us to do well. Got a hit there in the first thing. Nothing crazy. Down 1 0 already. Still 1 0. Double play, nice. Got to hit the ball better. There we go, 1-1. One, one. All right, Otani at the plate. Give up a home run. Nice. Oh, brother. Got to do better. Come on, Burns. Okay. Can we get some hits? Can't score runs. Okay, they got a new pitcher. Bradley Green, do something. James Karinczak, walk. Double play. Love it. Single. Triple. Let's go. Okay, 2-2. Two two. Bregman, do something good. Okay, three to two. Pitching change. Jason Adam coming in. Single. Strikeout. Okay, Burns. Walk. Stolen base. Walk. Pitching change. Who do I want to go with? Let's go with Bickford. Strikeout. Come on, guys. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Wow. Just wow. Really no comment. Really no comment. Really no comment. That was terrible pitching. All right, well. That's how the video ends, I guess. Nico Hunter was absolutely terrible. Green, okay. Alvarez didn't do good. Tucker didn't do great. Clifford was solid. I feel like at some points we just didn't hit the ball well enough, but Gilbert 
Bradley Peterson was good. Man, was our pitching brutal at times. Lopez was terrible. Ramirez. Bickford. Too many walks. Absolutely terrible. Hate to see it, but, you know, that's sometimes how, that's just how the game works. What are you going to do? Boys going to get the job done. Lost the NLCS in six games. Uh, we'll build a good team, but fortunately not good enough. Dodgers beat the Yankees in the World Series. Let's clear out the postseason and, um, yeah, I guess, close out the video. Thompson retires. Nice. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment down below some more videos. Wherever socials play, the second channel and main channel down below in the description. If you like other content from me, TJP, also hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Um, I got nothing else really to say. Uh, that's a horrible way to lose. That's all I know. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to head on out. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Next team is the Angels, by the way, just so you know. All right.